What's exciting about today is that we've got Julie Buzo here. All the ingredients she's using have come from the vendors here today. Thank you, Catherine. Uh, indeed, Catherine and I do go back a long, long time, many, many years, and uh, I'm very uh, honoured to have her here to introduce me. The dish I'm making is a hot and sour pork, uh, and it's uh, got Thai flavours and that. It's got some chilli, some lime, and some palm sugar, and it's got a lot of fresh uh, vegetables in there with little baby tomatoes, cucumber, and some red onion. The first thing I'm going to do is just to prepare uh, the onion, which I'm going to use uh, on top of the salad or through the salad. Now the other ingredients that I have uh, to go in the salad are some uh, little tomatoes and these are, are really quite important in here because they give a lovely uh, kind of boost of sweet juice because there's a bit of pungency in here. I've got a bit of chilli and I've got some uh, sour and some sweet flavours as well so having these tomatoes are great uh, because uh, they'll just give that nice little boost of sweet juice, which is which is really terrific. So we have that already. Uh, we have a, a little dressing, which is uh, made with lime juice, freshly squeezed lime juice, and some palm sugar. Palm sugar has um, it just gives it a slight caramelly flavour. If you don't have palm sugar, you could just use soft brown sugar, the same thing. And what you do in the lime juice is dissolve the sugar. It needs some encouragement, so you need to work that with the spoon. And I think as my daughter's sitting here doing nothing, well, you can just work that for me, please. Thank you. It's my daughter, Ilaria. Fish sauce, uh, if you smell it, uh, you think, oh, that's so strong, I'm not going to use that. Uh, but when you mix it through food, it truly gives uh, a remarkable seasoning. And that's, uh, it, it is not really fishy at all. Uh, so, uh, don't leave it out of a dish like this. It's really part of the flavour. You leave it out and your seasoning will be wrong. It somehow balances the whole hotness from your chilli, the sweetness from the sugar, the sourness from the lime, and it all comes together really nicely. I've got some fabulous um, uh, herbs, some mint and coriander, and I'm just going to give those uh, a little chop. Iceberg lettuce, terrific in this because iceberg lettuce that went out of fashion for a long time because it was the only lettuce we had and we got so... Oh. In fact, it's terrific in dishes like this because it's got lots of crunch and it will hold uh, its shape and its body <clears throat> uh, once it has some dressing on. So it's the one to use. Now, it doesn't look anything special at this stage, but uh, when it all comes together, it tastes... Fabulous. So some cucumber going in here, a little bit of lime zest, which I'm going to try to get in the bowl. The wind seems to want to take it away, but doing my best. And it's only the zest we want, we don't want any of the white pith. And in goes the uh, fish sauce. And then we've got um, uh, a red chilli. So I've got all my bits in my dressing. I've got my wok nice and hot, and then my most important thing uh, is the pork. And this is from Farmgate here at the market. And in fact, um, I'm using a pork fillet. So I have um, just a little bit of oil uh, tossed through this. And <clears throat> the wok probably um, is not as hot as it would be if you're in your own kitchen, because there's a lot of breeze coming on here. Uh, but what I'm going to do is just let it settle rather than toss it around, because if I keep on tossing it, I'm introducing the colder side of the meat to the hot pot, and I'll lose some of my, uh, my cooking momentum. So we're just uh, cooking it through until it's uh, just seared and just lightly brown and it'll taste fabulous. It goes straight onto the salad. Very, very simple. So on your barbecue at home, have your barbecue hot plate, uh, nice and hot. Uh, dressing poured over straight away.
And this recipe is uh, in my book, uh, Never Ending Summer. A little bit more onion. So, um, sweet sour pork. Um, I think we've got some little dishes that we might um, uh, serve that in if you want to have a wee taste of that. 